Implementing JTAG into your board can be crucial to your testing, debugging and programming stages. However, making changes to your design during prototyping and production can be expensive. When you're in the EDA stage, you need to make sure your JTAG access is as good as it can be. Here at XJTAG, we've made a free software plugin for Mentor Graphics Pads that allows you to run Design for Test checks right in the schematic stage. The XJTAG DFT Assistant is fully integrated into the pad software and can clearly identify potential errors in the chain before you produce a single board. You can also see how far your boundary scan access goes on your current design, allowing you to identify where you can extend your test coverage further by correctly implementing JTAG chains. The XJTAG DFT Assistant is a software plugin for mental graphics pads and can be downloaded from xjtag.com. Follow the steps in the installation guide to get started. Start the XJTAG DFT Assistant by heading to the menu bar and selecting the XJTAG option from the drop down menu. The Assistant will open in a separate window, which can sit next to the Design Viewer or on a separate screen. The next step is to generate a netlist, which is required before any DFT analysis can be carried out. If the design changes at any point, you can register these changes by clicking again on the Generate button. The next step is to categorize JTAG devices. To do this, you can tell the assistant what JTAG devices are on your board and then assign them a BSDL file. BSDL files can be downloaded from the chip manufacturer's website. After that, you can define the boundary scan chains. The test access port on your design will have the following pins. Test data in, test data out, test clock, and test mode select. An optional fifth is test reset. To enable testing on the design, you will only need to set up the entry and exit points, TDI and TDO. This will check that the chain is routed around your devices correctly. Each chain can contain multiple JTAG devices, and up to four scan chains can be defined in a single circuit. The last step is categorizing passive devices. You can manually search for the devices to categorize them, or the XJTAG DFT Assistant can suggest categorizations for you. Let's take a look at the suggestion method. Selecting Suggest Categorization will scan your design and show you devices that are thought to be series resistors, pull resistors, inductors, and more. Some might need some further information, but for now, let's accept the recommendations here. At any point during this process, you can select Show JTAG Access, and you will be presented with a color-coded chart that will show you how much of your design is accessible for testing. As well as giving you a clear visual representation, this will also allow you to see any potential design changes to maximize your access to the board. Now you are ready to check the chain on your design. Selecting Check Chain will run the XJTAG Chain Checker. This will scan your design and split the results into three sections. Tap Connections. This is checking to see if the signal can pass through the entire chain from TDI to TDO successfully. Tap Terminations. These are warnings that highlight taplets that are not being terminated to ground or power properly, which might cause signal integrity issues. Compliance pins. This will tell you if there are pins on the JTAG devices that must be set up differently to enable devices boundary scan operation. In the original design, the assistant showed some tap termination errors. By making some small adjustments to the design, these warnings are now clear. After your initial testing, you can export a project for XJ Developer, which is XJTAG's integrated development environment. If you aren't already an XJTAG client, you can sign up for a 30-day free trial on XJTAG.com. And that's a brief overview of the XJTAG DFT Assistant for Mentor Graphics Pads, available to download for free on XJTAG.com right now. Thank you for watching. <laughs>